Au! Hi there. My name is Haganezka. I forged Tanjiro Komodo's sword. I am here to deliver it. Oh! I'm Tanjiro Komodo. Come in. In here is a Nichirin sword. I forged it myself. Um, do you want to come in? Have some... The materials for this kind of sword only come from the mountain closest to the sun. Made of scarlet iron sand and scarlet ore. Hey, um, you're welcome to... Unique. They produce steel that can absorb sunlight. Wow, really? Please, come in. You see, Mount Yoko is bathed in sunlight all day. Never a cloud in the sky. No rain means the sunlight can be absorbed without any impurities. Whoa! A clown mask? Did he even hear me? The man still refuses to listen to a word anyone else says. Mm. Hey, you're a child of brightness, aren't you? Well, isn't that lucky? Uh, my parents' names were Tanjiro and Kie. That's not what I mean. You know how your hair and eyes have a reddish hue to them. When a family that works with fire has a child like you, it's considered lucky. A cause for celebration. Is it really? I had no idea. That means there's a good chance this sword will turn red. Right, Durokodaki? Yes. Come on, draw it already. Nichirin swords are also referred to as color-changing katanas. Their color shifts depending on the bearer. Black? That's interesting. Why? Does it mean something bad? Is it unlucky? No, no. It's just something you don't see very often. It's pitch black. I was really hoping I'd get to see a sword turn bright red! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, let go! Stop, please! Ow! How old are you anyway? I'm 37! Damn it! Why? Ah, hey! Please, just calm down! Oh. Tanjiro Kamado, I bring you orders! You must go to a town northwest of here! It can talk? This is your first assignment as a member of the Demon Slayer Corps! Prepare yourself well! Wait a second. Did it say assignment? In that town to the northwest, young girls are disappearing. Night after night, at least one of them vanishes. This is the Demon Slayer uniform I was provided. It's a perfect fit. Okay, then. That uniform is made with a special kind of fiber. It's lightweight, water-resistant, non-flammable. A low-level demon's fangs and talons are incapable of penetrating that fabric. What's that? You plan on traveling with Nezuko, correct? But demons perish when exposed to sunlight. 
That's why I'm gifting you this box, to carry her during the day. It's built from a very light wood called Cloudy Cedar. It's been coated in rock lacquer to reinforce the exterior and make it more durable, enough to withstand some abuse. Oh. Thanks, Orokodaki. By the way, Tanjiro. Yes? Since you're starting out as a demon slayer, there are some things I would like to explain. You should know, there are different kinds of demons. Some demons use a special spell called a blood demon art to give them abilities. You may end up having to face some of them in the near future as well. And fighting against supernatural... However, if you defeat demons and locate their source, you could find the one who turned Nezuko into a demon one day. <sighs> There's only one demon in the entire world that has the kind of blood that can turn a human. Just one. That's it. The first demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target, the one who attacked your family. More importantly, I believe he's also the only one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. <laughs> that demon's name is... Muzan Kibutsuji. Muzan Kibutsuji. Since he's the only one who can turn humans into demons, that means... He turned Nezuko. Once someone becomes a demon, they'll attack others indiscriminately, even their own family. They can't resist the urge to satiate their hunger with common sense alone. That's what it means to be a demon. At least, that was what I thought. Until I met Nezuko. There's no question that Nezuko is a demon, but in spite of that, she's never devoured a human. Nezuko was lying on top of our brother like a shield, protecting him. She hasn't eaten anyone. I've encountered many demons in my lifetime, but never once have I heard of anything like that. The question is, how does she maintain this state? This is only a guess. But I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. Sleeping to recover her strength. Again, this is only a guess. I could be wrong. Since you are the only one at her side, you must continue to observe her. Understand? And one more thing. I don't know if this will be of any comfort or not, but while Nezuko was asleep, I used hypnotic suggestion on her. All humans are your family. Protect your family. The demons are your enemies. If a demon harms a human, never forgive them. That's what I told her. Tanjiro, I understand that you want to protect your sister, but you must keep in mind. Nezuko is a demon now. She's not a delicate flower who needs your protection. Regardless, this will be your first real mission where you'll face a demon alone. I hope you both return safe and sound, though I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes, sir. Well, here we are. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, but I am picking up a peculiar scent. It's faint, 
but unpleasant. Let's take a look around. Is that... Excuse me? Oh, come on! Excuse me! Hmm... Oh, come on! Hey, listen! Hey... Oh, there's Kazumi. Poor thing. He doesn't look good. Well, he was right next to Sadako when she was taken. Taken? That person was one of the victims. Mr. Kazumi! I want to hear what happened last night. From you. This is where Satoko vanished. But I'm sure you don't believe me. I do believe you. I'm here to help. Now let's see. There's still a faint scent of the demon here. But it's uneven. Something's off. Who is this kid anyway? There's definitely a demon lurking in this town. But I need to find out more. Not much time left until sunset. I need to gather more information and track them down before night falls. Excuse me! Right. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should get to higher ground. Okay. scent is weak here. I should go back. Excuse me. Pardon me.
Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh huh. Excuse me. Yep. Excuse me. <sighs> what the? Right. I think I can climb this. Okay. Excuse me. Well... Excuse me. <sighs> Excuse me. I can get down if I use that. I can just barely make it through. Huh? Is that... I need to focus on finding the demon.
Oh no, it's nighttime already. I can smell the demon scent, but only slightly. The smells are all blending together. It's awful. This has to be the kidnapper. I should sort out the information I have so far. Focus. I just need to follow this scent. Excuse me. Huh? Hurry. Keep a level head. But hurry! I need to get up there to follow the scent. Excuse me! What'd you say? <clears throat> Whoa! I think I can get down there. Excuse me. Hmm? Uh, hmm. <sighs> okay. Excuse me. <sighs> Stay focused. Don't lose the scent. Excuse me. What? <sighs> hey there. <sighs> <sighs> okay. I need to get up there to follow the scent. I should be able to get up there using this. I can get down if I use that. Excuse me. Hmm? Uh -huh. Why, certainly. <sighs> uh. 
I think I can get down there. <laughs> Demon is just up ahead. I'm ready. Let's end this. There's no mistaking this smell. This is it. They're right here. I don't see them. Although, the scent is strongest, right? Here! I get it now. This demon can hide himself underground. Wh what the hell is that? What did you do with the girls you kidnapped? He he's behind all this? <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was another one! From the wall, too? Tell me, why in the world would a demon travel with a mere human? Nezuko, can you handle this? <laughs> all have the exact same scent. Which means one demon has split into three. Bastard! She'll go stale! Move out of the way, you little punk! The girl's 16 already! She's losing flavor by the second! If I don't need her soon, there won't be any left at all! Take a breath over me. Calm down. I've already satisfied myself feasting on these town girls. Every one of them juicy and delicious. Well, I'm not satisfied at all, other me! I want to devour all of them! I need your help. Hold her for me and stay close. Uh, huh? Uh, all right. You monster! Bring Satoko back! The girl you took the other night! Satoko? Which one was that? If her hairpin is in this collection, then I'm afraid I've already eaten her. Sorry. That's... Satoko's... You... You killed... How cruel! <laughs> That woman is mine! Hand her over! Nesuko, don't strain yourself! If it gets too dangerous, retreat! <laughs> If a mere human could defeat us! 
Scent like rotten oil. I know where it comes from. Tell me, how many people have you killed? How many people have you eaten? Give me a break! Where did the other two go? Underneath? It's dragging me under! Nezuko, I'm going in. Keep them safe for me. <laughs> Keep them safe? She could damn well try. But that woman is mine. I'll devour her whole! I won't let you go! You damn traitor! Why are you teaming up with a human? Humans are weak and pathetic! Nothing more than prey! See, you're impossible to understand! What do you know about Muzan Kibutsuji? Tell me! I, I can't tell you. I just can't. You mustn't tell a soul. No one can know anything about me, understand? Don't forget, I'm always watching you. So if you tell anyone, I will know about it. I can't! 
I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't tell you all right. <laughs> Try to pull in his desperation. I need to hurry and behead him. I can't get out of my sight. Losing strength. We've almost cornered him. Just give up. Get out of my sight. If I do, he's gonna. He's gonna. I told you I can't. I failed to get any information. Nezuko! She's fast asleep. Probably to heal her wounds. I failed. I'm sorry. But just hang on. I promise you this. I will make you human again! Mr. Kazumi? Are you alright? I lost my fiance. How could I be all right? Mr. Kazumi, you have to go on. No matter what. In spite of losing people. Even though it's devastating. How am I supposed to do that? You're just a kid. What do you know? <sighs> I'll be on my way now. Here. <gasps> Hopefully, you'll find something of Miss Satoko's in here. <gasps> You've been through this yourself, haven't you? I... I'm sorry! I shouldn't have said that! Please forgive me! I'm so sorry! His hands are heartbreaking. Hardened and thick from training. They're not the hands of a boy.
Mr. Kazumi never should have crossed paths with demons. He should have lived a quiet, peaceful life. But all of that crumbled into pieces in an instant. I'm not alone. How many people have you killed? Tortured? Tormented? Usan Kibutsuji. I swear. I'll make you pay. I swear!